Hello everyone, and welcome back to Power Wash Simulator. So, um, it's been, what, two months since, uh, the last update, and I was originally going to record this on Power Wash's birthday, but I was a little, uh, busy with other things. So, um, this update has not careers, but special jobs that we can complete. Special jobs, kind of like the one where we had to clean that Mars rover, those kind of jobs. And also, because I now have a much, much stronger computer, I wanna, I wanna see if I can, I wanna test the limits of how much this game can handle at its best uh, visuals. First off, uh, should I? And why not? And then, let's go ahead and go, uh, yep, we got those. Hmm. Ooh, got plenty of this stuff in stock. Now, I'm not going to use the soap cleaner unless I absolutely have to. One sixty two forty, I think, or two twenty. All right. And that's everything. So, uh, specials. We have clean the gnome fountain, clean the mini golf course, and clean the steam locomotive. I apologize for the Discord notifications. Hmm. We'll, we'll start with the gnome fountain. Restore the fountain to its former glory. So these are levels made by the Power Wash community, and I have to say, I'm fairly certain they're going to do very, very well. Oh, wait. Oh! They change up what we can use. Okay. Very interesting. So let's see just how much um, high texture this game can actually, this computer can handle. just get comfortable. Also, um, if my mic sounds different, I'm using my blue, uh, my blue Yeti. Alright, I may have to experiment a bit. That's more like it. I just had to turn the render scale de back down to 1.0. Okay. Let's get cleaning. After this episode, I'll have to make sure um, whether or not the volume was too loud. I certainly hope it's not. So the first and the first important thing to do is, of course, clean off the tougher st uh, the uh, not tougher stains, uh, lighter stains. Because I've said this many times before, but when it comes to cleaning in Power Wash Simulator, you might think that the best way to handle the things is to just use the most powerful washer everywhere. But in reality, that's actually going to be less effective. Because if you just wash the, wash away the lighter, st weaker stuff first, you'll actually have an idea as to where to, where exactly to use the stronger ones. It might seem backwards or or not make much sense uh, sense to you, but believe you me, it'd be a real time saver.
So we'll st oh, so we'll start off with the base first. I honestly wonder what they're going to be doing for the next update in the future. I mean, I know that this update just came out, so of course it's obviously way too soon to be wondering about that, but... Now that the town is saved, what'll come, what'll come next? Is that simply where the story ends? I would not imagine so. We still have to figure out what the whole ordeal is with the mayor and everything. We have to figure out what's truly going on in this town. <clears throat> Many mysteries to get to the bottom of. Look at that. You know, we'll worry, we'll worry about the top part first, so that we can just go around the uh, ring of the fountain. So I've also realized that, sure, power washing might not be for everybody to watch, but I honestly feel like it's better if I only make the cu make cuts that are necessary and not just cut ahead to finishing cleaning something. Because if I record cleaning the whole thing, it at least gives a nice sense of accomplishment and satisfaction that everything has been cleaned thoroughly. Also, because I have a uh, better computer now, I can actually han handle having shadowing on. In fact, I did a test run of Security Breach on my PC at the highest settings, and to my uh, to my gratitude, <clears throat> it works pretty well. So I'm thinking once I so my plan is, um, I actually included a or I I in. I downloaded a file that's basically a mod that allows me to put in a debug menu, and I'm going to go through the game, making uh, making separate save files for different parts of the game, and I want to go through and, I mean, I, I know people have already done it before, but I want to go through and look at uh, different parts of the game just to see what I can discover. I just got to be, I just got to be careful not to break the game too much. That would be that would be bad. Very, very bad. I know there's still the underside to worry about too. Man, how big is this fountain? It's wondrously large. Well, once we get to the part I've already cleaned, we'll know when we've reached all the way around. Come to think. All right, so we've gone all the way around. Let's just make sure we get the the little crevices too.
You can never be too careless. I honestly find it pretty, uh, pretty comical and honestly kind of charming that they actually made a gnome fountain at all. You know? Because the gnome is like, like the mascot of Power Wash Simulator. And someone making a fountain dedicated to it is, well, pretty talented. I mean, the game is still in early release, so... Or early access, I should say. So who knows, there may be things that are subject to change in the future, but... Honestly, this game feels about as complete and in progress as it possibly could be. You know? Like, it's, that's just how it feels to me. And you know what? Something I could do is I could probably, like, I could probably make little chapters of when I clean different parts of the uh, fountain, like different layers. So, like, how would I label it? Like, how about we, how about we go by nozzle? White nozzle layering, or white nozzle cleaning. And then... Well, I guess any any of the other things can be cleaned by particular uh, nozzles. I don't know. I'll figure something out. Maybe I'll call it like light cleaning and then deep cleaning. Like I could, I, I, I figure I, I could probably find some way to split the videos off into chapters, so that you guys know when the. Uh, or then again, maybe that would kind of mess with the immersion a bit. I don't know. I wonder if... I mean, I, I'm, I don't want, really want to turn the wetness VFX back on because I'm worried that it would, uh, it would stack on top of the high graphics the computer already has to process and everything. I don't want to, like, risk it. Looking pretty good so far, though. I mean, sure, it's only 4%, but... Still really good progress. I just wonder how cleaning the, uh... Mini golf course is gonna be. That's gonna be really interesting. Because I haven't been mini golfing in years. I think the last place I ever went to do that was, uh... Mountasia, or, or Putt-Putt, or whatever you want to call it. There's quite a few games that are having some things going on with them. Um, for instance, at the end of June or July, uh, the cu Cuphead, the uh, the delicious last course, I think it was called, will be releasing. 
And uh, I'm looking forward to it. I really am, because Cuphead is a very, very good game. There's also um, Sinister Turmoil Sewers. There's like an update coming out. At least I hope so, because it's nearly the end of May, and haven't exactly heard heard many much news about that update. At the very least, they could, you know, graciously tell us that hey, um, it's gonna be a little later than we thought. They haven't even given us a specific release date yet, which I I can understand because it it this kind of thing just happens, you know, but. Given it's nearly the end of May, you'd think we probably would have had some sort of news or update or something. In fact, after I clean all the clean up all these levels, I'm gonna go uh, give that page a check just to make sure. But even then, if it does come out, I'm definitely looking forward to it. Cause when I played the uh, when I when I played uh, sewer uh, sinister turmoil sewers a while back. I ran into several hilarious moments and bugs and everything. Especially that one notable notable bug where one of the uh, robot hamsters I released ended up getting caught in a tunnel. And it ended up leading Mangle and the Cupcake into towards that tunnel. And just having them sit there the entire time, allowing me to map out the whole place. And my god was that amazing. Like, I, you cannot, you cannot plan that kind of stuff. You just can't. Uh, let's see, what else is there? Um. Hmm. What else is there? I mean, there's Super Mario Strikers, of course. I forget when that comes out. Uh, I think it's sometime in June. Uh, Sonic Frontiers. I thought that was coming out in sometime in uh, spring of 2022. Although it's nearly summer, so I don't know. But there is, there's like a lot of games for me to look forward to. There really is. And of course, there's uh, going to be me playing Paper Mario the Origami King. But I'm... Probably gonna end up end up like waiting a waiting a, a bit or a while on that because I've been wanting to really work on my uh, work on a Project Arithmia level remake that I've been planning on working on, but you know things like Security Breach and uh, Breath of the Wild kind of delayed that some. So I decided that. I'm just gonna go ahead and enjoy the t the games and updates and everything I need to, to complete before I worry about uh, the remake. So yeah, there's plenty to look forward to. Oh, and there's that um, satisfactory update coming out. I, I honestly forget when. I'm pretty sure it's sometime in June. A lot. Plenty of things coming out in June or July. And May. But I'm looking forward to it. Really am. I just wonder what how I'll handle the situation when I'm like probably halfway through Origami King and a major expanded update for one of the games comes out. I mean, then again, um, by that point I probably would have plenty of room for squeezing in one of the two. That's just the life of being a YouTuber, though. Being a, being a gamer. Gotta, gotta work and plan these things out accordingly. I'm still holding on, like, honestly, even if um, Security Breach ends up not receiving that many updates, I'm still going to cherish it because as broken of a game as it is, I still definitely enjoyed myself with it. Sure, um, due to uh, circumstances, the, ga the, the uh, game we got wasn't quite matching up to what the trailers were hyping,
but that's understandable that's understandably upsetting to many people and sure I'm at least or at most uh, pretty disappointed by it but that didn't stop me from enjoying the game for what it is but I'm sure but you know steel wool doesn't want to let their game die they want to they want to give it the love and attention that it needs and honestly they they didn't intend on releasing it so early because you know there was like a two-year delay and the fans got kind of impatient which is understandable but they want to they want to make up for what they gave us and I can appreciate that I can definitely appreciate that Oh, look at you. Spick and span is so super shiny. Yeah, this definitely will take plenty of time, but like I said, I can make cuts where needed, but for right now, I don't think I really need to make any. These episodes are going to go mostly uncut, save for those, you know, occasional cuts. Because, uh, people... Uh, games like this are those kinds of games where you start doing a task, it eventually feels drawn out and repeti repetitive, but not for the wrong reasons. And people would start making cuts or speed ups um, to, you know, help, uh, help get by the video. But there are other people out there who make videos that are over an hour long and everything. And I guess I'm not going to be afraid to just make the video how I please. Sure, it's not going to be for everyone, but I I want I want people to really make really have this I want this video to really or this game, this experience to really feel like I'm putting in effort. Cuz in real life this video or why do I keep slipping up words? In real life this job definitely would not take 5 minutes. It would take well over an hour, maybe roughly an hour, depending on how efficient you are with your tools. You know, you gotta, you gotta, gotta get, give the video that. Oops, you gotta give the video that realistic feeling. And besides, once we get into the other nozzles, that's when things will really start to clean up. Because using the white nozzle, sure, it doesn't clean everything, but that's not the point of it. The point, I mean, I guess in some levels it does clean everything if that's all you really need for the level, but this nozzle, it pretty much just reveals what needs to be cleaned specifically. If you were to use the strongest nozzle everywhere, you would probably find out in the end that you probably could have saved so much time if you just uncovered what specific spots need cleaning. I hope the inside of the pot doesn't need cleaning. That'd be weird. Oh, I, maybe that's like German for gnome or something? Wait, no. Wait, yeah. Is that like another language for gnome or something? I feel like it is. Oh, 
Also, I just realized, I'm pretty sure that given the way these um, these pots are being held, I'm fairly certain that it's where the water comes out of. Which I think would be glorious. If there was like some sort of control, a control button to like make the water come spouting out, I think that'd be really cool. See, this level, it's not too big, but it's also not too small. It has, it has like, pr practically just the right amount of cleaning required. Like I said, watching someone power wash, especially when mostly uncut, isn't for everyone. But that doesn't quite mean it's for no one, either. I mean... Think about it. Even even outside of so many cuts in a video, if you were to play this for yourself, you would definitely see that it takes time to complete this level. That's the thing I'm going for here. I know in the past I've made a lot of cuts towards uh, get nearing the end of a level when cleaning, but I've thought about it and I've realized... I need to really paint the reality of just how much effort really goes into these levels. Because if I don't, it's going to feel like these levels don't take much effort at all, and that's not my intention. Do I need to... I need, I need to clean the fronts too, don't I? Now, if the video does get, you know, a bit too long, I'm all I can always just split it into two parts. That's what I've done in the past anyway. Let's get you all cleaned up. Maybe I should turn the VFX on just to see what happens. If it, if it eventually starts to lag, I'm going to turn it back off. Maybe this will add to the experience, too.
Let's go all the way around. Look at this. Absolutely incredible cleaning. This large floor here, at first you might think it's, you know, at first you might think it's kind of a uh, over overwhelming job, but in all honesty, it's perfect. Look at that water running, too. Oh, yes! Soon enough we'll have come all the way around. You know, at some point I should also look into Dark Deception because as buggy as it is, it's not unbeatable. Just, you know, <laughs> a, a little bit messy from what I've seen. But maybe it's not too messy. Something I really want to try is seeing how long it takes for me to complete um, monkey business with the... Uh, telekinesis ability. That's something I want to see. But of course, I need to do things one at a time. I'm also probably going to be called away for dinner soon. All right. See, crouching 
It makes it a little trickier to properly clean. Alright. Okay. Lower pool floor, huh? Is that what you call the floor for a fountain? I guess so. Look at how clean that becomes when you really wash it. Not as clean as it's going to be when I'm done with it. Don't so don't sweat it about the ten percent. That's mostly because we've only washed the up the um we're only washing the top layers off first, so percentage is going to be rather slow until we get to the real grime and grit. Grit and grime. That's just how it is. It's like that until you really get to the deep layers of just how dirty and messy and grimy this fountain is.
Hmm, algae, huh? Actually, that might just be my, uh... Oh, wait a minute. How did I... <gasps> That's right! They, they did include this, didn't they? So, if you press the C button, you can actually, um... Let your power washer aim wherever it wants to. I completely forgot about this! I mean, the camera kind of, uh... Oh, the camera does turn, okay. Oh, that's cool! Oh, this is so cool! This, uh, this shows all sorts of different angles to look at it from. Oh, that's so cool! It might be a little disorienting for you folks, and I apologize. But, um... This is really, really handy. Oh, that's so unbelievably handy! Seeing it in action like this is... Oh, I... I definitely love this. It's a... I know it's a little weird to look at since you're so used to having it right in the center all the time, but... I feel like this is something you'd quickly get used to and quickly come to love. I mean, just look at how much more work you could get done with this kind of thing rather quickly. And... It offers precision, too. You could stand in one- you could stand in one's position and have optimal, efficient accuracy with wherever you want- whatever you want to clean. Oh, that- this is so genius! Yeah, because you can aim it wherever you want for, for precision. Oh, that's so cool! Oh, that's, that's amazing! Alright. Alright, enough fawning over it. We gotta, we gotta, we gotta get to cleaning. Yeah, this will, this first part will probably be, will probably be focused on the, uh, you know, um, light rinsing. Cool.
Oh, uh, I am in love with this. Let's focus on the main floor, though. It does feel a little, like I said, it does feel a little weird to get used to at first, but... Once you get the hang of it, it's actually pretty damn useful. Apologies for being so quiet, I'm really concentrating here. Don't worry, things will go by a lot faster once I have the, uh, once I start using the, you know, the, the tougher nozzles. In fact, if it ends up taking a lot less l lot less time than I thought just to clean the fountain for real, I may just incorporate this into the uh what was supposed to be the first part. We'll have to see though.
We will have to see what happens. Wow, this fountain is actually bigger than it looks when you really get up, when you really get up and close to it. It it definitely feels like a Mario Party mini game with this uh, angle. Maybe I could press the C button to just readjust the camera on occasion. Hey, well, what do you know? I cleaned part of the. I, I cleaned part of that.
I'm really, honestly, I'm impressed with the amount of detail that really went into this fountain. That's the thing about Power Wash, it's not just about cleaning everything, but when you really take the time to look at how the level was put together, and all the little intricate details that really go into this, it's honestly impressive. Like, really impressive. All the little nooks and crannies that but that that make up a level. It's something that you tend to form a habit of not really looking into, but when you do and you realize just how much effort was put into this, like I said, it can be pretty damn impressive. You're, and you're like, wow, they really added some really incredible and little minuscule but effective details into this. Okay, so Lichen. I've been seeing that when I'm not aiming at Gnome, so I'm assuming Lichen is not, like, another word for Gnome. I guess it's a kind of tough stain. Now, I will admit that I probably will end up missing, um, I'll, I'll probably end up missing <clears throat> a lot of those, uh, you know, grime spots. And even if I do, obviously the other nozzles are going to take care of that. Okay, no, no. Hey look, footsteps, or footprints. Every little nook and cranny counts when it comes to cleaning.
All right, we good here on this side? Nope. This is really effective, I'll be honest. Seems I've already gotten most of the bottom. Alright, did I get everything? Wait. This thing would probably look amazing in action. Just seeing all that water pouring out so majestically. Like the finest work of art anybody's ever created. I really, uh, like I know they're probably not going to show it, but man, that's something I would love to see. Oops. Oh, I didn't even... I, n I never even got this part. Let's get you cleaned up, especially.
Almost done with the rinsing. I could actually work on this from top to bottom instead of bottom to top. So much for chapters, am I right? <laughs> Oh, I just realized he's wearing a crown. Oh, your oh your your gnome crown will look so so glamorous once it's completely cleaned off. All right. Um, save for a possible few spots I missed. I do believe that's all the grime for the uh. Wait. Hey, I think you can... I, th I feel like you can actually see some of the houses you've cleaned in the past. And strangely, that volcano is nowhere in sight. Well, until the next part, everyone, when- wait. Hold on, what's this say? Oh. Oh. Lost cat. I just realized that I- <laughs> Okay, this is actually pretty funny. They actually took a picture of Ulysses, and someone drew a body onto the photograph of Ulysses. That's, a, that's actually kind of funny. <laughs> Alright, now what's this say? Bigfoot strikes again. Hmm. P.W. Sophia. Maybe that's supposed to say P.W.S. for power washing service? I don't know. Alright, is that everything? Alright. Uh, let me just... Alright, we'll pick up next time, everyone.